Welcome back. So, the team. What am I going with? Well, I've actually put aside four Pokemon here who will join on today's expedition across the sea. Skates, also known as Masquerain. Enza, the Trapinch. Enrique, the uh, Cacnea. And uh, Natasha, the Manectric, of course, who we're reasonably familiar with. Kwai is staying in the party to be our surf Pokemon, of course. I could have taught it to Albatrows, but Kwai has had far less airtime. And also, Kwai can pick stuff up, of course. Uh, I did also teach Ice Beam to Skates, because it has very high special attack. Well, not very high, but its special attack is better than its attack. Neither of its typings are special in this game, unfortunately. But anyway, as you can see, it already had Thief for some reason. I used the TM for Thief on it. And uh, uh, yeah, here we go. Let's just get to it. And we're all the way here, so that's inconvenient. Because I do want to start from the other side, so bear with while we make our way to Route 104. Which we'll then quickly get on to Route 105 from. On the sea. Ah. <sighs> So, I am now playing Mystery Dungeon DX. I've eaten my own words. I mean, you know. It, when I looked into it, I realised that it was probably going to strike a good balance between holding true to the original game's dynamics, but also factoring in you know, the mechanics of Super Mystery Dungeon. But yeah, I would say it gets a very good balance from what I've played so far. I'm basically, I would say, halfway through the story of it. Because, of course, I'm a little bit addicted to it. Not gonna lie, I always do get addicted to Mystery Dungeon games and then I can't really stop playing them until I finish most of the story. And uh, I make no apologies for that. I bet there are level 35 tentacle that I won't be able to escape from. But anyway, oh, here we go. Oh no, it's Pelican. 29. It's inconvenient, isn't it? We need someone else up front anyway to handle these water Pokemon. I should have thought about that, and I apologise. I will make an apology for that. This is inconvenient, isn't it? There's no point um, using a flute because it might just spam supersonic, you just don't know. With wild Pokemon, yep, there you go. I'm glad I was right on this occasion. Oh, Natasha, that was a quick turnover for your confusion. Nice. Nice. I, as I said, I very rarely use electric types, but when I do have them, oh, I'm thankful when I come up against Pelipper. Because, ugh, Pelipper's defences are quite good. Oh, swim, swim, swim. The blue, blue sky. The vast sea. Ah, oh, it's so peaceful. And you have to go and ruin it all with a battle. Ugh. Swimmer done. Natasha's gonna get so much experience so quickly. Because pretty much every swimmer uses a uh, water type. I'm pretty sure they all do. Otherwise, they wouldn't be a swimmer trainer class, would they? 
I lost while I was lounging. Oh. I want to be told I'm relaxing to be with. <laughs> okay. This is unfortunate. This will probably continue to happen. Because these are over-level tentacles. But whatever. We should make short work of them. I don't know. Not this done. I mean, that's fair enough. Because we are four levels under. And it's not like it's quad effective. Like it was on the Pelican. So, you know. You've got to factor these things in. Okay. Anything from Quag? Nothing. Um, yeah, let's wait. Do we need to super potion up? Yeah. There we go. So yes, I got lots of TMs from the game corner because I ended up having like 40 something nuggets picked up by Zigzagoon in the last grinding session. So, yeah, that's how. That's how I was able to get various TMs for people. I think I taught Belinda the Loudred Flamethrower. And, uh, and I think I taught Thunderbolt to Clarabelle Curlia. Oh, my body feels lighter in the water. It's as if I've gotten slimmer. <laughs> Swimmer, Beverly. Oh, well. It's like I'm so used to me not having the offensive move in the first position that I always have to check and it's it's an issue but it's, there's always a bit of a delay with me Whoa, poor mama I'm floating oh, okay your body weight is reduced to just one tenth in water. That would make me. Whoops! I'm not telling you my weight. Okay. Yeah. Nice atoll here. Is that how you say that word? I hope it is. This guy will probably not have a water type, so let's, um. Let's uh, have Enza for her debut appearance. There's supposed to be a mystical rock around here. Do you know anything about it? Well, I do, but my character shouldn't know about it yet, so. Ooh, and Maniac Foster. Uh, oh, that could be detrimental to you. I forgot about how Earthquake makes that happen. It's so sad to hear them do their cry from underground. I think another Earthquake. Hope that hopefully no crit. No, it didn't happen. Good. I was thinking too much about that rock while my Pokemon remained weak. The Ascend Slash wasn't bad. I don't know why you're giving it such a bad write-up, but anyway. I can spend hours and hours staring at a nice rock without growing bored. That's nice. I'm glad that you enjoy your hobby. I would never pass judgment on someone else's hobby. Unless they pass judgment on mine, and then it's uh, all bets are off. 
You can be as mean as you like when someone's mean about your thing. That's my philosophy. Swimming in the deep blue sea. Oh, it feels the greatest. Swimmer Austin. Why must you bother me with these magic up? Oh. Uh, the peanuts experience. Uh, over it. This is the first one I've encountered in a long time. Goes some way to describing just how over magic up trainers I am. Ah, oh, that's a shame. The quick claw didn't work this turn. That was a time that it would have been useful. Ah, oh, that's even more of a shame. But I don't blame you, Enzo. Ah, uh, no. That's not good. Oh, she survived. Please don't hurt yourself from the faint. Oh, thank goodness. Thank you, Enzo. Enzo came through. And there was no surviving the earthquake because Enzo's attack stat is huge. I'll have to show you it. Yes, level up. Why do I have to mention these things? Fainting, fainting, gonna faint, gonna faint. Ah. See what I mean? <laughs> I could have just got to check that it's definitely in the first slot. Yes. I lost. Now I'm feeling blue. Why is the sea blue? I learned about that at the museum in Slateport, but I forgot. I think it was about every, uh, blue light doesn't lose its color in water or something. Anyway. Okay, so. Let's compare. Obviously, Captain Scorch's attack is... Nothing to sniff at. It was always going to be pretty good. 57. And Enrique's attack is pretty good. 63. Uh, Natasha's uh, special attacker. So look at her special attack stat. 70. Very nice. And of course Quag is all about the kind of even spread apart from speed. Which is like really high. And then of course and there's the special attack of Skates. 53. It's not that great. But anyway, whatever. And then, uh, just a casual 78 attack from, uh, the Trap Enza. Yep. But she does have a... an attack raising nature there, so... You know. But I'm pleased about that, because it basically means... You can rely on her to hit hard. Here we are. But we don't need to be here yet. Enrique, you can be in the front. This is going to be so boring, isn't it? Probs. But it's whatever. Well, that's all looked at. More on that uh, island rock structure much later on. Much like the one that looks exactly the same in the desert. Okay, I thought there might be a hidden item, alright? Ah. Uh... Eh? Eh? Here? Forget it. Let's leave. Haha! <laughs> Ooh, I was worried that a kid was drowning when I saw you. <laughs> you seem to be okay, so uh, what do you say to a battle? Um. What, if you thought someone... Uh, I suppose he's just like, recovered. Swimmer Louie, I'm gonna say Louie, because... 
it's not spelled like my name. So. Even though I, that is my name in this game. No, oh, well, it's spelled differently. I'm wasting so much time talking like this. Unfortunately, Enrique doesn't have a good grass move yet. But I'm pretty sure it'll get Needle Arm soon-ish. Which will be very useful. Uh, let's just ingrain. Let's do all the HP stealing and oh! Okay, I was prepared to be there for the duration, but no. Sorry, Enrique, that that really wasn't very fair. Oh, I forgot that that continues on. Excellent, a lasting legacy from Enrique. I'm not having you miss out on your experience. And yes, you did see right. I do have 83 rare candies. Doing that much grinding with Zigzagoon. Look, it's just really, really useful. However, you've seen how high the playtime on this game is. So you've got some idea of how long it takes to gather up that much stuff. But, you know, it's just a thing that you can mindlessly do while you're watching some TV that doesn't really matter about, you know, having it your full attention. Glub glub. Okay. I say that too often. If you are drowning, the signal is to wave one arm toward the beach. I'll keep that in mind. Although, we seem to rarely swim at places where anyone would be able to help you, unfortunately. But anyway, I trust my judgments. Oh, thank goodness, for once I'm not pointlessly on this bit of sand. Alright. Okay, I'm going to use the item finder to spare some time. Alright, there we go. Nice. Who wants a defense boost? Um... Uh -uh. Oh, Enrique, your defenses are rubbish. How did that happen? Anyway... Yeah. I don't think the iron should go to anyone here. Because clearly they don't have any defences to really accentuate. Okay, Enrique. This is your second chance to do something. Wait a minute. Oh, that's right. He had to know cut. Well, he didn't have to know cut. It's just unfortunate that he now does, because he's stuck with it till Lily Curve. Ugh. Where are my repels at? Oh, right there. Alright. Oh! The sea is my backyard. <laughs> I'm not going to take it easy because you're a kid. Those things don't really have much to do with each other, but fair enough, you can say them in sequence. Swim and echo! So yes, I am enjoying Mystery Dungeon DX. Going back to what I was saying a good ten minutes ago. I do, obviously, think it's easier, but still, I can sense there are going to be some frustrating moments. But we'll see, we'll see what happens. You know, nothing will ever beat the original. It's just like with Oras, Amiga Ruby, Alpha Sapphire. I, um, you know, I loved Amiga Ruby, don't get me wrong. 
but I've not replayed it. And yet these games never get tired of them. Don't know why. Can't explain it. They get, I just, they have this hold on me. It's very, it's very odd. Anyway. Enjoy what you enjoy. Did you think it easy on me by any chance? Um, you were defeated. Drifting along with the waves. Oh, I love it. Why don't you give it a try? Nah. Ooh, Quag has something. Ooh, it's a red candy. Nice. And to add to the pile. Um... Yeah, just keep going. Oh, <laughs> I'm a lousy runner, but in the water you can't catch me. <laughs> I bet. Swim at Zagalus. Oh, this isn't an Enrique scene. Oh, no. This thing has liquid ooze. Maybe. Whoa. I was not expecting that. I guess his attack is pretty high. Why not do that again then? <laughs> oh dear, but our special defense is really bad. It still didn't do much. That should be the case. I'm just worried about those... Both of his defenses are in the 20s. Very upsetting. I didn't know that about Cacnea, but anyway. You'll learn something new. Nice. Eh. Actually, no, he's got pretty high special as well. But I can't afford to get rid of either of these. So I'm just going to have to get rid of Absorb. It's sad. But once he gets an evil arm, it'll all be good. I give up! Defeatist. Although you did lose. I wouldn't lose in a swim race. Yeah, well. Ah. Uh... <sighs> um, is there anything I can... I'll just, I'll just, uh, I'll just hold this for a second, Quirk. Nice. Because there's a certain person who I uh, was praising for their high attack before, and now it gets even higher. And you can give me back the thunderstorm now of no use to you. Alright, onwards we go. And here we are. What are they talking about in here? Not even going to dignify him by talking to him. Oh, there's something on TV. Why me to just get in the way of you? Whale, my angler. Hello, today I will get tips on fishing for Whalema. Guru, uh, what advice can you give for catching Whalema? Catching Whalema? <laughs> well, let me see. Uh, I mean, well, let me tell you. Use your fishing rod with vigor. Do you see Louie over there? See how the rod is handled? Mm. That uh, trainer's already caught six in a row. Uh, wait, what? What? It's incredible! It looks like a storm! Seeing technique of that calibre, I'm getting the itch to go fishing too. Viewers, why not take this as a cue to try some whale mop fishing? Until the next broadcast, farewell and good fishing to you all! I'm trying to think why I would be catching six whalemers. Anyway, apparently it happened once upon a time in some game. Upside Down Grandmother's Scream is the title. 
Well, I thought what was cool here changed recently. For me, Sludge Bomb is at the peak of popularity. It's the one. <laughs> You're telling me that you don't know about Sludge Bomb? That's outright pitiful. I'll give you one. <laughs> Do you have like an infinite supply of those? Because can I have more than one? No? Okay. I love Sludge Bomb. But Pokemon with the upside down grandmother move are in too. Interesting. I'm studying up on the hip and trendy upside down grandmother now. Is it true that there's a deep link between upside down grandmother and digital? It's the same. It's. He's gone and done the exact same, like, connection as last time. Yes, there is a deep connection between those things. Well, so my hunch was right. I'm one step closer to being hip and happening, yowza. You know, how upside down grandmother, of course, can use a PC. Cancelled. I can't just go past a Pokemon Center, that's that's awful. Uh, that guy was paused mid-step. How amusing. Alright. Now it's time for Skates to be in front. Which could be regrettable, but anyway. Whatever will be, will be. Route 107. It's time. Is the Super Repel still up? I should have dropped stuff off in the PC. Oh, I can't be bothered. Anyway, still lingering. Ah, oh, that'd be right. I've got apple in my mouth. How annoying. Oh, did you want to battle, man? <laughs> sure, I'll go with you. What? She's like, you want to go? Swim a bath. Skates. Masquerade. You have to be a fan of Thirsty Merc to um, get the song reference there. Life. Dancing in her masquerade. Well, that's done. Well done, skates. What a novelty to use Ice Beam at this stage of the game. Nice. How nice, because I couldn't teach Skate Surf. But it's nice that now Secret Power is looking exactly like Surf. I don't think so. Read the confusion. Yeah, go ahead, waste your time. Oops. I'm just gonna thief. Yeah, I didn't think you were holding anything. Ah, uh, such annoyance. Why am I using Gust? I would get the same type of attack bonus. Oh well. I wasn't good enough for you. Guess not. I think you're going to keep getting better. Hmm. I'll go for it too. I'm just full of generic phrases. Aren't you a swimmer, Beth? That's hurtful. And I'm hoping I didn't just hear thunder, because that will really put a spanner in the works, but anyway. Hi. Oh. Edging closer. 
No. Oh, you all know. I must have drifted off to sleep while I was drifting in the waves. Sorry, what? You you can just you think you can just sleep in the ocean, do you? Swimmer Darren. Ah. Oh, how rude. How rude that you have an ability. Ah, oh, disgusting. I'm glad Gust got the job done. <laughs> I lost. I'll take a snooze, I think. You can't do that! Floating and being rocked by the waves. Oh, it's like sleeping in a plush, comfy bed. Is it? I'm not sure that's true. Anyway. Let's put Quag here so that they can be in a double battle, both of our level 28s. Oh, who to talk to? Let's go with this. We challenge you as a sister and a brother. Hm. Lisa is her name. And her brother is... Ray. Sis and bro, Lisa and Ray. Linen just was like, sorry, I have to cut in and overrule your... Um, with my own. I think it's Gust for Tentacle and Headbutt for Tentacle. I want Tentacle gone. Oh. Happened quicker than I thought. Yep. Are you proud of that? Okay. Poor Goldine. Nice. Awesome. You're in a different class of tough. Do you have any friends who would go to the beach with you? What kind of question is that? But yes, yes I do. In fact, they would probably be more up for it, for it than me. And it also, it very much depends on what beach. My sister gave me a, my Pokemon. I raised it, and now it's my important partner. It's a feel-good story. Ah, uh, what the? I like to get in people's way. Yeah, there we go. Ah, the sea is like my backyard. Let's battle. Um, someone already said that, so... Really losing in the originality stakes. Swim at Zony! Gavana, nana. Sorry, I just can't not do that. I'll try to only do it once in each episode that features Gavana. You were so obsessed with robbing me of my speed that you failed to notice your HP was being taken away. Not being taken away, but it was going down. I lost on my own field, I'm in shock! Mm. I swim the seas with a heart full of dreams! It's a song! Anyways, I'm swimming some more. Okay. I do like that dialogue, it's quite amusing. Now for one of my absolute favourite NPCs. Swimmer Denise. <laughs> do you know a little town called Duford? Yes, I was just there. Swimmer Denise, as promised. With a single wingo out here on the ocean. I hate this! 
A weird saying is getting really trendy at Duford Hall. Okay. So yeah, I just love that she just has that outburst uh, and then just goes back to talking about Duford Town. And I, uh, look, I apply that in my head a lot of the time. I'm just screaming on the inside. I hate this! Sometimes you've just got to channel swimmer Denise. Anyway, moving swiftly along on Route 108 now. Ah, my liar of a boyfriend told me I look great in a bikini. Um, I don't know why you're so upset. Swimmer Tara. Don't do that. Don't be that person. No, oh, I get to be that person. Oh, good. Actually, I would probably never use smokescreen, to be honest. It's just like sand attack. I don't really use it. Once a good offensive move comes along, I won't use it anymore. I could hear Sophie's tail beating. Sophie the dog. Just, just in case that wasn't clear. Ugh, really? Really? I mean, really? Thank you. Sorry, Quag. It's understandable. You had smoke in your face. Oh, boo! Okay. Even if it's a lie, I love being taught to look great. Oh, we girls are so complex. Um... Like still in the first slot. Ah, <laughs> my dream is to swim the world's seven seas. Good luck. Also, there are several seas. There's like five oceans. But in terms of seas, I don't know what you're counting as a sea. But. Uh, Sorry, I, I lost my train of thought there. Yes, Quag. No, Quag. That's just not a reliable move. Let's just, um... Let's eviscerate Wingo. Poor Wingo. Swimmer Jerome, or Jeremy. I'm never quite sure how to say that. I won't be able to swim in the seven seas like this. No. Playing with marine Pokemon is one of the pleasures of swimming. Guess it is. Is there really nothing here? Ugh, oh, that is... That is so... They just bait me with these things. There's the abandoned ship. But I can hold off going in there for a minute. I love the sea! Oh, I forget all my worries when I swim. It's nice for you. Swimmer, Missy. I bet you have four gold ears. Just a feeling that I get. I only know some of the NPCs very well. Swimmer Denise, I only know because of that dialogue. It's just so... The, is, it the, is dissonance the word between the things? is just so amusing to me. No, no she does not have four goldies, which is well, it's pleasing. A bit of variety is always good. Quag's headbutt blitz. Uh, the 
So did everyone attack again? It turned into a headbutt blitz, and I ran out of PP for it. Oh, let's just go with Enrique. Send him in. Um. Oh. Sneaky well one. Whirlpool, one of the worst HMs. Like, ever. Although it's not an HM in this game, mercifully. Dive is an HM in this game, which... Like... It's not as good as Surf. It's still alright. I don't resent it. Faint attack, attack, attack. Dance, dance, dance. Oh, sorry, I didn't even realize rollout was happening until just now. Now I'm really worried. We need to get rid of this thing fast. Faint attack is the only move that I can actually rely on. Because cut misses. Ah, oh, thank goodness for that. I wonder if... That would have spelled the end for Enrico. I don't know. Anyway. Leech Seed got rid of the last bit. When I lose a battle, I get all stressed out! But now we're stressed out. It's the second time I've done that reference. Work off your stress by swimming! It's so healthy! It is. It is. Okay, that's the episode. We will go in the abandoned ship next episode. And because I'm so obsessed with Mystery Dungeon, of course, I won't do anything in between. You can be assured of it. So, I will see you soon.